Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial on web services. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement security in the SOAP REST services. For this, we are going to use our existing SOAP project in which we created SOAP web service and implement some data uh, operations. So this is our service. So first of all, we need to add some dependencies in the POM file. first dependency we, which we need is WSS 4J for this we will go to Google remember to take the latest packers of WSS 4J this is the latest uh, package means to change the artifact I will take the 2.5 version 2.1.5 version because this is uh, this is working with the JBoss Fuse which I have but you can you can always take the latest package if you want and then satisfy the dependency in the JBoss Fuse so I've added this dependency apart from this I need a uh, dependency from the same package with the common names and this one I'll take this one uh, just copied it just, just to uh, update you, I, I don't need this dependency because this dependency is a POM type. So I'm just removing the existing dependency because POM dependencies are not required here. And then we need a dependency of DOM. So I'll write WSS 4J DOM. And here I got this dependency. I copied it over here and I'm saving it so these two dependencies are required apart from the existing dependencies so these dependencies will give us the uh, required classes so implement to implement this security you know, we actually need to do few of the things we have to write a username token value data Okay, this this is already present in our uh, jar files we have to implement to check how we are going to validate the username the password means whatever username you are getting and whatever user password you are getting in the request how you gonna validate it you can use LDAP server you can use database server or you can call any API to verify the things most of the time we use LDAP server but here we are not going to implement the LDAP server we are just going to uh you know we will just hard code it and we will we'll check whether those uh, username is uh with the same which we which we have hard coded in our service but you can always use the security mechanism you want to use so first of all i'll just go and create one class for the username token validator i'll write a class and i'll choose this and i'll write security I will write custom username token validator. So the class is already created as we added the dependencies. So I'll just refresh the project to get all the dependencies in the project. can see the project is updating so the project is uh, updated I'll extend it with user name just press control space to get the suggestions uh, okay, 
the last one username token validator and now we go to this username validator class and we have to override this particular method so I'll just take out the signature it with override and here we go it gives you error but it's not an actu actually an error because it says that uh, your reception must throw a must be a subclass of throwable but actually this is a subclass of XML security which is a subclass of exception and exception is a subclass of throwable so it gives you error but it's not an error it's, it will, the project will get uh, compiled successfully so now we have to write a logic to get the username and password from this particular method for this with a credential as we are getting this error so eclipse uh, will not give you any suggestion so i'm just removing it for a time being so that we can get the su suggestions okay mm. principal okay okay so we'll just take out the username uh, get username token and get name so we'll get the username from this and we'll write down similar thing for the password copy up same thing and we'll write get password so this will give us the username and the password now i'm writing logic the username so it completely depends how you want to implement this thing uh, i'm just hard coding it if it is admin admin then we are allowing it to pass otherwise we will fail it so it totally depends on your choice usually people go for the LDAP and here in this pl in place of this logic you can call your LDAP service or a database service so I'm just checking up the logger for printing the logging ready I'm just going to log one line okay, info is successfully validated print the username to and in else part I'm going to throw an array through new WS security exception and I'll take the error code failed authentication and I'll Just give you a warning, but uh, don't worry about this warning. And while overriding, I have to mark it as throws, otherwise, code will not compile. And I'll save it. And first, I'll try to build this to see if there is any issue with this or not.
odd build can take some time because for the first time it will download some of the dependencies so it says there is an error uh, compilation failure error reading uh, some of the file and cannot find symbol ok uh, custom validator line 16 ok and it's giving us an error of bad signature also WS security says not able to find but what I can see is already uh, imported So now we will uh, add the return statement. Okay, and because that, uh, our compilation is failing because of the return error, so I'll just go and build this project one more time. So now we have built the project successfully. So let's uh, introduce some of the spring configuration to use this class. So I'm going to create one more XML class here and name it bundle context beans so that we don't mix up the existing configuration. And for the, this, we need some. Uh, headers uh, in the XML file so I'll just copy it from one of my references so I have created copied up the references so first we have to define a CX of bus so that uh, we don't uh, have to write these things again and again and we have all the configuration at the one and one place so in this six of bus I'm going to def define one in interceptor okay and I'm going to define six of properties so first I'll define the bean for our class which we have created so we'll just go and copy paste the thing so that we don't mix up and I, here I go into the things and copy paste it custom validator is done now we have to define a bean for the WSS 4J in, in interceptor which which comes with the, uh, with the jar WSS 4J so I'll just take a reference from my existing so I'll just define this bean 
like this so here what we are doing we are just initializing this bean and we are uh, passing this values via constructor we will use the username token and password type will be password text there are multiple types but we are going to use password text okay so now uh, we, we can define this bean here been here and it's done so now we have to define one one property so that uh, our custom username token validator will be called so I'll just take one entry here and define it here so this is the WS security dot ut dot validator which will call our custom username token validator when this intercept is being called okay so just format it and save it now we will we will give this uh, bus a name so that uh, we can we can use it in our code we name it secure bus and id also secure bus so now we have to use this bus in in our existing code so we go to the camel endpoint and we will put it and as you say xml file so we use add the rate am uh, and and the symbol amp colon then the bus and hash for the id and we will write the bus name secure bus that's it this is the only required changes we have to do and now we are going to build this project to verify everything is done properly Okay, we got some error but the build is successful so in the next tutorial we will deploy it on jbus fuse and test it with the soap ui that's it from this video